Welcome back. We got a special one for you today. Today we're using a little mod called the Family Tree mod. I got family. That's right. With this mod, you can click this little create a family and then boom, you've got a family of trees. Aww. That's just a little joke for you, a little family tree humor for you. What we're actually going to do is set a little colony of humans up here. We created two families. We got the Odumawi family and the Ewawi family. Get ready to hear me say those two words about 300 times throughout the rest of the video. Let's do it one more time to get ready. Odumawi, Ewawi. <laughs> Buckle up, okay? So currently, of course, these two people have no kids. In fact, not only that, but they have no maidens as well. They got no father figure. They got no mother figure. They're just alone in this world. No memories of a past life. In fact, they just spawned into existence at age 19. They only know three things about themselves. They're fast, they're greedy, and they love bread. So while our people mingle and get set up here, let's check out the world we're working with today. I wanted to do an islands map because I want to see which family moves into which islands. I want to see where they spread. I want to see what they choose to do with themselves. I want to have different landscapes. Crystal Island? Crystal jungle. We got, uh, this island's nice and big. We got some jungle. There's a little bit of corruption here, which I thought about erasing, but I think I'm gonna leave it. Also, we got lightning, and I think I'm actually gonna leave it on, but I'm gonna turn off this guy. Rebellions are on as well. We'll see how that goes. We got a nice blessed island over here with a nice mountain. That is a nice mountain. Sheesh. Whew. Isn't it, though? It's perfect. Why are you looking at me like that? Anyway, we got this crystal over here with some more jungle. Just just a, just a pinch of uh, lemon right here. Just a little hint of lemon. This is all connected. This is all connected. This is the biggest landmass we have. And then down here, we've got regular grass plains. Boring. Some jungle. And then just a little pinch. Just a little tiny little bit of uh, swamp. And the crabs, they're loving it, i tell you what. Got some arcane sands up here, and just a smidgen of jungle. Just a teensy little dollop. Up here we've got some swamp, and then just a tiny little dash of savanna. And then don't even get me started on this. Whew! You think it doesn't do anything, but it will. A rhino is going to spawn right here, mark my words. Whoa, this island just got struck by lightning. Whew, hopefully there wasn't anyone on it. All right, so let's see how our friends are doing over here. We got Odumawi. He's got a lover, Echuchi. Okay, interesting name, interesting name. Good for you guys for making it work. And you got their new child, Nuo, named so because he is in fact new. And look, he's a miner. Get it? Like a miner? Like, you know, like a miner? I know it's spelled different, but like, like a miner. I mean, it's Nuo. And he's a miner. Come on. Let's see how you're doing. Just chilling, hanging out in your Nuo village, enjoying your life. Good for you. Okay, let's check out the other family. Ewawi. Uh, Ewawi found someone named, you know, you can read that for yourself. And they've got two kids, Ter and Uvi. And uh, they look very similar. Uh, they must be related. <laughs> Looks like this family had kids earlier, because right now they've got two kids that are, look like they're mostly grown, and the other family's just got that little kid. I don't know which family you're rooting for, or if you even should, because technically they're part of the same kingdom, but it's better if there's a rivalry. Now it's a competition. Starting right now, it's a competition. Is the winner the one that has the most kids? I don't know, probably not that simple. It's just who has the biggest impact? Who builds the biggest empire? Maybe the Uawi family will start a rebellion someday on this island out here. You never know. Also, I changed my mind. We're switching which disasters we're using because the lightning is gonna drive me absolutely bananas if it strikes the entire video. So it's only year 40. We're gonna try to go to year 500. I wanna see, I wanna see some long-term effects of this. All right, I wanna see where these families go. They're just getting their first fishing boats. The world doesn't even know their names yet, right? They're just a small family of a couple kids, just like everyone else. But someday, maybe one of them will be notorious. Also, Odu Maui is the king right now, so keep that in mind, all right? They're the king right now. So little Nuo over here is the son of the king. He's also an only child. He's also dressed like Mickey Mouse. And because of those two things, I think he's gonna have a very interesting childhood. Maybe he'll turn out like a weirdo, but we don't know. We'll find out. Oh, whoa, the other family, the Iwawi family, has three kids now. And their oldest is 36 years old, loves pies, and is sad. Dang, dude. I'm sorry. Take your time and all that, but you are almost 40. You know, you don't have any kids yet. No pressure. If you're not ready, then you're not ready. If you're not interested, you're not interested. But, you know, we're over here wanting to see, you know, your family succeed. 
So could you could you help out a little bit? Go talk to people. You never know. Maybe download one of those apps. The Odu Maui family had two more kids, and then Achuchi died. Rest in peace. You will be remembered. But uh, I'm glad that you had two more kids right before you died. Oh no, Uwawi himself is dead, but managed to have one more kid. Okay, we're now officially into next gen. We got three kids on one family, and uh, four kids on the other. Did one of the kids inherit the kingship? Let's find that out, actually. Are you king? No. So I guess royalty doesn't really pass. Oh, that's right. He's still alive. Okay, okay. My bad, my bad. I was gonna say, imagine the king dies and they just give the kingship to some random guy. Oh, no way. The king just died? And you know who they made king? Uwawi, dude. No way. They stole the crown. So the son of Uwawi is now the king. They freaking swiped the royal position. This changes everything. Well, it doesn't really change anything if you think about it, but it's kind of it's kind of slimy. It's kind of sick. All right, let's fast forward a teensy bit here because I want to I want to hit year 500 and I don't want it to be a snooze fest between now and then. So let's let's time skip a little bit. Let's just see uh let's see what what's happening 10 years from now. The crown gets stolen. Generations move forward. Okay, so Odomawi and Achuchi are both dead. Their kids are all still alive. Anuo is freaking 65 years old now. Dashigo and Piwippi have two kids, Uhak and Nev. Okay, the Uwawi family. Let's see how you guys are doing. Uwawi himself is dead, and Uvi and Ibav have given birth to Edanup, who is currently drowning in the ocean. Uh, oh, oh, he's establishing a new kingdom. Okay, I don't know, man. For the first bit of the video, I was kind of on the uh, Odomawi side of things. But uh, let me tell you something. They had the kingship stolen from them, and then the other family is the one advancing the civilization. So, I don't know what to tell you, but I think the Uwawi family is actually being a little more proactive. Sure, they're being a little cutthroat. You know, they stole the crown. Maybe they even killed the king for all we know. We don't know for sure. Oh, the king's dead. Okay. Yeah, see, that's crazy. Every time the king dies now, it passes to another Uwawi person. But uh, the first time someone died, dude, I think they killed the king. That's the only explanation. I think the first king was murdered. I have no data to support that, but I'm pretty confident. Okay, look at this. They've spread all the way to over here. See, what's gonna get really interesting is when rebellions start to pop up. Okay, look at this. We got over here, oh, there's an evil mage. Oh, no way. This is the Owawi Island. Are they rebelling against the overall kingdom? Bro, this family goes hard. They formed this kingdom, this new village, and then they rebelled. And they're kinda, oh no, they're gonna get taken over. Oh no. Okay, it looks like they got taken over again. All right, they were punished for their, uh, attempts there but the fact that they're even attempting it is crazy okay they're splitting off again the Owawi guy's still king of the original holy kingdom all right way over here so they are spread out they're playing both sides they're destroying the kingdom from within you know you fight with your siblings maybe it's kind of like that you know maybe maybe your brother gets elected king and you're like i should have been king so you just revolt and turn 400 people against your brother's kingdom and cause an all-out war. You know, could happen. This kingdom is now the biggest kingdom. Who's king of it? Oh, no. <laughs> Hegebui Odomawi, a name that history will remember. The greedy and bloodlust-filled Hegebui Odomawi. <laughs> There's no way that name could sound cool. Even though the rest of it sounds cool, there's just no way. We got ourselves a new rebellion. Okay, who is king of this rebellion? Owawi, dude. Oh, whoa, they're at war with themselves. This is Owawi over here. These two kingdoms are both Owawi. Who is uh this kingdom, the original one? Just some random guy? How did some random guy become the king? I guess this family is having so much drama that they just decided to just drop that whole kingdom altogether. All right, let's just take a little peek here at our overall family tree. Okay, so we have the originals. Odomawi, right? Long dead. That was like 200 years ago, right? Um, Nuo didn't have any kids. Dashigo had a lot of kids. Five kids to be exact. Some of them had their own kids. Nev had four kids. And then Kovan had two kids. Where are the ones that are still alive? <laughs> How many generations have we got to go? Hey, you're still alive. Okay, here we go. Dang, look how far down we have to go. Look at this generation. There's Odomawi at the top. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight generations down is Laos. 25, and he has no idea how long we've watched his family. His family tree kind of lost control of royalty. Maybe year 400 will turn rebellions off. That way we can have like a a winner and see kind of where the families end but i do like that they're all kind of squabbling for now 
but I know that the squabbling will probably go on forever if we don't ever stop it. So still random guy in charge of the original kingdom, the holy kingdom, right? And this first rebellion kingdom is now being ran by Odomawi, this one with 300. What's interesting is the original landscape is now a kingdom of Ibu, and that kingdom was being ran by an Omawi who was just killed and some random guy just took over. And then these two kingdoms just made peace right here. And then this kingdom just made peace with this kingdom, Realm of the He. The Holy Kingdom is definitely the biggest one for sure, by a long shot. They have the most population by about double. I would say pretty much across the board, if we look at their total population, the Odomawi family has 283 living members right now. But if we look at the Uwawi family, they have 376. They have about 100 more living members right now. And I think they've spent more time being king. They've also spent more time rebelling, which, you know, got to take some points off for that one. But I guess if in order to get what you want in life, sometimes you got to rebel, you know? Nice little war going over here. Odomawi fighting alongside a bunch of random people against Uwawi people down here. The two families have stayed pretty consistently opposed to each other. There's been a couple times where like Odomawi has been taken over by Uwawi, but for the most part, they've been just actively fighting each other this whole time, which is kind of sick. I don't think they like each other very much. All right, let's crank up the speed a little bit. Let's hit year 400 and kind of see where we're at. The Holy Kingdom over here owns so much of the world, and it looks like we're down to consolidating into two kingdoms almost it comes down to this man so the holy kingdom king is Uwawi, and the other kingdom is Uwawi as well so Uwawi is currently the king of both only kingdoms so i mean to me that seems like a win for them it sounds like what just exploded over here holy smokes oh yeah i forgot to have the modern mod odd sorry about these <laughs> modern skyscraper type buildings but hey, that's to show that it's really been 400 years of advancing. Okay, the rebellions are breaking out again. So this is where we this is where we turn it off. We have a lot of rebellions. Let's let it consolidate and kind of see how it ends. Okay, we got peace between the two biggest kingdoms. A bunch of other peace. A kingdom was destroyed, naturally. I'm seeing a lot of Odomawi kings getting killed and then other people getting elected. That happened a lot where it feels like they couldn't keep the kingship for more than one generation at a time. Whereas the Owawi family, they pretty much like always had it. One of the Odomawi people would become king and then suddenly they would get killed or whatever and then some other someone else would take the kingship. What gives, huh? Look at this. The king gets killed by an Owawi and then they elect an Owawi. That's what I'm talking about. They've been on it, dude. No way, look how big this kingdom is now. And this one actually kind of got to stay. This is one of those random rebellion kingdoms that was super small. Okay, here comes the bell. Ding, 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 there's year 500. We're gonna keep it going just to see if it consolidates. But let's check out what the final score is here. The Odomawi family has 355 living members. We don't need to go down all these generations of people, but we can just take a little peek. Oh my gosh. Good gracious, dude, look at this. I bet it keeps going too. Whoa, look at this. Kumair Odomawi paired up with Paba Owawi, and the kids were all Owawi after that point. Oh wait, they were like both. This Owawi kingdom is out here like overriding their last name too. They invaded their actual family tree. Okay, so that was Odomawi. They have 342. Owawi, 427. 29 generations. Title royalty. And yeah, that makes sense. The Odomawi family kind of became the nobles. Like they were sort of related to the royalty. They were always like near the kings, but they couldn't really be the kings themselves. They had a big hand in the royal part of things, but they themselves couldn't really hold the crown. They became nobles and uh, they kind of ended up serving the Owawi family tree. And there we go. It looks like this kingdom, the Otamu kingdom, is about to wipe out the rest of the world. Looks like the original kingdom is just hanging on by a thread in these two islands. Uh, one of them just got hit by a meteor. <laughs> that's, that's bad luck. And uh, that's gonna do it for that kingdom, man. That's GG if you ask me. So if we check out this kingdom over here, the king, Nod, Iwawi, good for you. It's only 25. Man, what a legend. And they got the blessed biome. They're just they're going to be king forever. Look, they even got Owawi over here on this other kingdom. It's safe to say that the Owawi family has taken over the world. Good for them. They were a little cutthroat. I think they stole the kingship at the beginning, and they just held it. 
the entire time. Anyway, hopefully this was fun to watch. Hopefully it wasn't too chaotic. It's a really cool feature, but obviously it's a mod, so it's not, it's a little bit janky to like keep track of the families, but hopefully you were able to still kind of get the charm of that. We could try this again, maybe just follow one family or like, I don't know, have 10 families or something. But uh, yeah, shout out to the maker of this mod. I'll link him in the description. I'll link to the mod as well if you want to try it out yourself. It's pretty fun. I haven't played with it very much, but it's cool just to have extra data on like the families. I don't know. I never really thought about that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And uh, yeah, later. Bye.